In this short tutorial, I will explain how to fix blurred controls in Windows when running your applications on high-resolution displays. In one of the previous tutorials, I explained how to fix a similar problem on Mac. We had to create a property list file and bundle it with our application. That fixed the rendering on high-density displays, particularly the Retina displays on Mac. A similar solution needs to be applied to Windows applications. We have to create a manifest file and make sure the compiler recognizes it. First, we need to create a correct manifest file. We can find the correct content on the Microsoft Learn website. Just copy the XML into a manifest file in your project directory and that's it for the first step. Next, the manifest file has to be included in the build process. Fortunately, CMake supports adding the manifest file directly to the sources list, so we add it to our target sources. This is safe for other platforms, as the manifest files are ignored there. After running the app, we can see that the text is crisp and the controls are no longer blurred. The dimensions seem off, however. The window is much smaller than before, and the button sits closer to the edge of the frame. To fix this, we need to use the FromDIP method everywhere we provide a position or dimensions in the code. In our case, that's when we set the position and dimensions of the main frame and when we set the margins for our button. Unfortunately, this is incorrect. We don't have access to the FromDIP method from the MyApp class. This means that we need to construct the frame using default dimensions and then update these values in the MyFrame constructor like this. Now everything works correctly. The controls are no longer blurred and all the positions and dimensions are as they were before. This solution is now included in my CMake WX widgets template. This project automatically downloads and compiles the framework sources, making it easier to develop desktop applications on Windows, Mac and Linux using the same source code. If you think that's interesting, check out the GitHub source in the description and my full video on the topic. For now, that's it. Be sure to like and subscribe and I will see you in the next one. Thank <laughs> you.